yeah, what is it? Ask whatever you'd like. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves, and before you ask, the band never really... Okay. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. This one has been in my list of possible artifact sites for a while, but the profile didn't quite match. Now that we've got more artifacts, the similarities are as clear as day. The ones we found, anyway. No telling what this is, but you can feel that excitement in the air, can't you? It's something important. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. No. Just need to follow your scanner to the real destination. Might be a boot's journey, but that's the explorer's lot sometimes. You're looking for the eye of the storm. Whole thing is a whirlwind, but getting to the source? Need to wear your patience thick. Captain on deck. What did you need? It's always a good day when you come around.
nitrogen. Hydrogen. It's all here. Captain, it is. Pleasant to see you.
Maybe you can get that to point us to the nearest restaurant. Aha. <laughs> Disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results.
Anything on your scanner?
hope we find a use for that before it spoils. I hope you've calibrated that thing.
scanning. I'm sure there's something nearby.
glad to haul whatever you need. Feel free to drop some stuff into my bag. Talk to you later.
something for me? Bring me anything useful? Goodbye. Is it really necessary for you to drag around all that gear? I'm listening. Let's see what you've got. any gear you want me to haul.
Notice how the room is reacting to our presence. Those rings in particular. I need to talk to you about. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. 
Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Uh, unfortunately, no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. Arja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. Ah, she absolutely was. Arja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation, and took me under her wing as her protégé. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know... Arja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together, but it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. Catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Arja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Yeah, you know, being alone in interstellar space, nothing but light years of black around you. Some people find that terrifying. I find it comfortable. It helps me bond with my shipmates. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Arja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. No, she retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Oh, don't worry. There's no bad blood between us. The worst that might happen is you get stuck listening to two old friends catching up on old times. You don't need to follow anyone, just be yourself. I chose to accompany you on this journey because I saw something familiar in your eyes. A hunger for exploration. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded. 
I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Think of a better place to recharge and ready ourselves for our next mission. Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. What in the blackest sea are you going on about? What did it do to you? Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. 
and also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. No one in Constellation is going to lose lips on this. That's a wise decision. Until we know more, we need to keep this amongst ourselves. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as... You've gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. Drinks are on you? Hmm. Now I'm certain there's something wrong with you, Walter. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited.
See that shroud covering me on? Construction. Believe it or Insects. not. You're Industrial looking at the only city in the settled system. But they still can't get rid of the order of castle mass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Kazimbas's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekrim offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. down here. Oh, how can these workers stand the smell of rotten fish and goodness knows what else? be doing this than getting mixed up with Thanks for choosing Terra Brew. What can I get you? 
Certainly. Please take your time. Corporate policy requires me to state that everything Terra Brew offers is my favorite. Can I help? Frank Rennix all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had if Benjamin Bayou's ego was as combustible as Helium-3, he'd be able to provide... And I've heard that Benjamin Bayou has a private penthouse at the top of the tower. Stroud Eklund makes some of the finest ships in the settled systems. I'd love to get a look at their operations. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes, uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know me, Sistro? You are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Co-CEO. Heir to the Eklund fortune, and somewhere down there I'm his wife, yes. Didn't know our marriage was such a low priority. Oh, it jumps up the list at the right moments. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Who was it again, Walter? The founder of Constellation? Sebastian Banks. His final address before he disappeared. I merely found a group of like-minded individuals. Just like all of us. I'd say Walter is more of a disciple than a fan. In fact... I've heard him recite this in the Lodge on more than one occasion. Can we move on? I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Oh, just some light sparring, dear. Walter's actually very... 
attentive when it's just the two of us. When you mix business and family, you learn to compartmentalize. Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now I must point out the obvious, the Astral Lounge. Huh? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're... taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. I'm in the middle of some quarterly earnings analysis. Excuse me.
technological services. For just a few credits, our certified technicians will quickly and painlessly do your We've we should have a tour now already. when you have the time, of course. Maybe you should have figured yeah. out what you wanted before we came. I just never Take it easy. I have the credits to be here. I don't want to screw it up. You all really You're don't looking know for a new hairstyle? Maybe a change of color? Oh, I think. We Welcome do. to Enhance. If you're tired of seeing that same old face in the mirror every morning and you're looking for something different, we can help. Our state-of-the-art machinery uses a patented proprietary technology that can reshape your facial features or give you a new head of hair. For a small, one-time fee, you can enhance yourself and bring a big, warm smile to your brand new face. Hey, whatever you choose is going to be fine. And we're all going to love it because you're still you. If you're looking for a new you, I'm always ready to help. We know. Security has got its eyes on Saburo Okadiko. The guy's trouble for the status quo. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. We have finally appointed spacious suites, all featuring fantastic amenities. Best of all, each room is security protected with an encrypted password locked door. So, you can rest easy at night. Well, you should be, because I can guarantee you're getting gouged all over this city. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Well, almost every business in Neon is subject to ridiculous fees and taxes. They claim that it's because Neon occupies such a prime location, having close proximity to Ryujin and all of the other mega corporations. But I think you and I both know that's not true at all. Enjoy your visit to Neon. certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. Welcome to Neon Tactical. Ah, <sighs> sometimes sticks. I wonder how things would have been different if I took a different path. And if I flipped the coin of life, it came out heads instead of tails. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Rosa Newell is my wife. We own this place together. Sieghart's Outfitters? Oh, come on. 
You don't have to pretend you haven't been to his poor excuse for a store off of Bayou Plaza. I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Secret, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchants alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagirt makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay. I don't know much, but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. Just kids having fun. Don't kid yourself, Rosa.
You? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Except the spaceport, of course. And what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. That depends on if you're hungry or thirsty. Ah, a bit of a foodie, are we? I can't say I blame you. We're just as renowned for our cuisine here as we are for our drinks. First, let me tempt you with our melon caviar. Delicate, salty spheres of melon, hydroponically grown in our private aqua garden. And to finish, our lounge special strip. A grilled soy-based steak served with a steaming side of chipped potatoes. <laughs> That's delicious. Anything there sound appetizing, or are you looking for something else? All right, well, I've got a couple of specialties of the house you might be interested in. First, there's our best seller, Sangria Astral, which is a curiously refreshing, fruit-infused red wine served in a commemorative bottle. But if your palate is a bit more refined, we have our Bayou Private Reserve, a painstakingly distilled cognac stored in the purest Arcturan crystal. That enough? Or are you hungry as well? Of course, of course. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Private meetings are usually held in the floor above, just to use the elevators. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state of the art. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. A 
loss leader. I make you pay less now, in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Well, of course. The Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. Enjoy the lounge. Yes, 